decades, the Ark of Massachusetts helps people with intellectual and developmental disabilities lead normal lives, and they do this by supporting people with the services that they need. And joining us this morning is Leo Sarkissian, Executive Director of the Ark. Always great to see you. Great to see you, Thank Anne Thank you for coming in early this morning. Let's talk about, you've had a very busy week. We have. The Ark's been, you know, full engine uh, going. We've actually, you know, as you know, uh, we're at five schools with Operation House Call. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, Tufts and Simmons, which is a grad school of uh, health sciences, both had their Operation House Call classes going, which meant that our team, you know, as parent instructors that go to uh, medical students mm -hmm. and go to uh, nurse practitioner mm -hmm. and healthcare, other allied healthcare professionals, and they get to do a class, and then we organize visits in twos and threes to families' homes. Yeah. So they can really understand about working with people with disabilities, intellectual developmental disabilities like autism, cerebral palsy, Down syndrome, and they can realize how to speak to the folks directly so you're, you're involving the whole person, the whole family, and the family share a slice of life. And then we have feedback on the internet with the teachers. It's, in, it's an incredible way for us to understand each other, right? Yes. And some incredible hands-on training. This week you were with Boston University students and also students right. at UMass. Um, and some of the folks who are part of Operation House Call are your champions and leading by right. example. So, yeah, so we always have a person with a disability we call self-advocates as part of the class didactic, let alone the home visit. And Braden Yee's 12 years old. He's, got, he's one of the leading by examples folks. And he is a musical prodigy. His mother found out he had perfect pitch once he took adapt adaptive piano lessons. In addition, uh, he's a co-teacher on Operation House Call. And we want to recognize contributions he's made. He's, he looks ahead and he wants to be either a doctor, a teacher, an uh, ice cream man. <laughs> <laughs> he's got all these ideas about yeah. when he uh, grows up. But, um, he's, and he faces his own fears, too. That's one of the other things. They had a fear of dogs, for example. And they got to know the German Shepherd next mm -hmm. door. But there's so many stories of overcoming obstacles. And Braden's a great example. There's four people all together, Braden, Angelina, Anne, and Jillian. And I guess uh, Jillian's story is another one who um, had to learn to speak for herself. Her mom was a great role model, but she ended up finding her own voice. She loves sports. Um, she is into now speaking up at groups. She was a keynote speaker at the Mass Down Syndrome Education Conference. So we want to recognize these wonderful strengths. And she mm -hmm. hopes to write a book someday, and she's into music and singing, and she's been part of plays. So we really want to profile the attributes, right? Yeah. I'm sure that they will do whatever they set their minds to because yeah. they're just so remarkable and how they're able to also connect with people within their own community and show them like, hey, look at what right. I'm doing right. and I could do it too. Yeah. A great way to highlight those uh, examples is the gala, which yeah. is happening next month. Correct. It's right around the corner, March 27th. We'd love everybody to come. We, you know, we'll make ad rooms if we have to, but <laughs> it's on March 27th. Um, it's at the uh, Boston Union Marriott, and people can go online. I think the website's up there for mm -hmm. people to click on. But it's called Leading by Example, and uh, they'll get to know people. And, of course, the wider community, like you said about Operation House Call, we want everyone to get it, you know, to mm -hmm. figure this out because yeah. it's all about inclusion, being part of our communities. Mm -hmm. And it's by the generosity of others that you can continue oh. to do what you do. We raise several hundred thousand a year just to keep the doors open to advance opportunities mm -hmm. for people with disabilities and I don't I don't think people really comprehend that yeah. you know how and and with the tax law tax changes holder. their yeah. participation can make a big difference so right. we really appreciate it and appreciate you having thank you for tonight. what you do Leo Sarkisian executive director of the ARC spread this message you can find it on our website cbsboston.com we'll be right back